And now to the controversial finance bill, which is set to be tabled in the National Assembly tomorrow. With some members of the ruling coalition publicly vowing to shoot down the bill, President William Ruto has convened a Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Parliamentary Group meeting to whip the members to a party position ahead of its tabling. The National Assembly Majority Whip, Silvanus Osoro, says the controversial bill will only be passed by the House with key amendments that include removal of taxation on bread as well as motor vehicles. This as organizers of the Occupy Parliament demonstrations against the Finance Bill 2024 finalized strategies to execute the planned sit-in outside Parliament buildings. Seth Olale with the latest on the Finance Bill 2024. Long life. <laughs> you are here. As the Finance Committee prepares to table the report on the Finance Bill Tuesday, pressure is continuing to mount on the executive and legislature to drop controversial tax proposals contained in the bill. And to galvanize the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition members ahead of its tabling, the ruling coalition has called for parliamentary group meeting to strategize. <laughs> the convener of the meeting, the National Assembly Majority Whip, Sylvanas Osoro, says even as they meet, they are alive to demands by Kenyans for removal of controversial tax measures. In what might be a relief for taxpayers, Osoro confirms that the committee is considering amendments to taxation on bread and vegetable oils, motor vehicle circulation tax, internet and money transfer services, which were objected to by majority of Kenyans during the public participation exercise. Kenyans raised issues with bread. I can say with certainty that that has been considered. In as, we haven't read the report yet by the committee, but word from our colleagues in that finance committee have said that they've considered uh, dropping the proposal on the bread. Even as they listen to the demands by Kenyans, the coalition party says it was ready to take on the opposition coalition during the debate and voting on the controversial bill to wed off any imaginary condemnation of the bill in its entirety. But numbers do not lie. We are in the same house. We are in the same floor. We will adjust. And this we say with tremendous humility to Kenyans. We will adjust anything that we consider as too punitive, but we will not uh, vote no. We will vote yes. Speaking in Kakamega, during a delegate meeting, leader of the Movement for Democracy and Growth, Allied to the ruling Kenakwanza coalition, David Ocheng stated that a section of MPs in Kenakwanza will oppose the bill when it comes to the floor of the House. I will not vote for a bill that introduces an echo levy, a levy that will increase our cost of production, yet our region, regional neighbors, our neighbors, South, South Africa, Tanzania, they don't have that levy and they are producing some things at lower rates than ours. <laughs> Organizers of the Occupy Parliament demonstrations scheduled on Tuesday to protect against the Finance Bill 2024 finalized strategies to execute the planned sit-in outside Parliament buildings. You can protest anywhere. Get a whistle, get a vuvuzela, write your own placard, be anywhere in the city and scream and shout and say, say no to new taxes. Lazima zakawa shuke. Uh, demonstration and picketing is constitutionally allowed and that is the apex of the law. And nobody should go against that constitution. Therefore, if Bungei decides to harass Kenyans, to fight Kenyans, to beat Kenyans, we will institute private prosecution against him. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.